today we are going to perform a sharp back deflection. Yeah, here is the schedule. As you can see in the video from the beginning, we opened a train case for ventilation a few hours. We were ventilated this area a few hours. Then now we are going to perform with crankshaft deflection gauge, perform crank web deflection. Why is important? I will tell you it's from inside because here it's still noisy. Diesel power pack running and auxiliary engine running very huge noise and it's much better from the side. Okay, see you then. between two crank webs, the yeah, should be positioned like that, and then check if it's turning, yeah, it's turning. Later on, we are going to adjust this gauge on the zero, and then we will turn. But for turning, we need to go first to the top dead center, on the opposite side. Before that, I wish to show you camera because it's very expensive yes now okay we are on the other side okay come down Christian okay. here is a relief valve of course of the relief valve is to relieve the pressure okay now here, as I said, we are in the crane case. On the top you can see the crosshead, stuffy box on the end, you can see the, the sliders, my shoes, here in front of me, it's connecting the road the bearing. Yes, as you can see it here. And here is the crank web. What is so important here? It's important why we need to carry out deflection. We need 
to carry out the flexion because to check main bearing condition. How to check that? We have positive and negative measurements. And as per that, and our calculation, and as per technical instructions, we can see it. We can uh, determine are our main bearings in the bad condition or good condition. This is the one way of the checking main bearings. Yes, another way of the checking main bearings is visual. Third way is by the filler gauge to check the clearance, which is also carried out as per regular maintenance manual, as per regular maintenance. Also down, when we are here in the, in the crane case, we are also checking to inspection of the piston roads, any abnormalities, if it's uh, visible, we need to carry out and immediately report to the chief engineer. By the way, I'm the second engineer on the tanker vessel, as you know already from my channel. But for the people who don't know what to introduce, there is a engine cutting Christian. No, no, it's the oil, correct? This is the main engine system oil. And I'm also touching by the hand. This is the top part. I'm touching by the hand this oil why i'm doing that this is not because i like oil but i'm checking do we have white metals white metal parts or fragments which can come from the connecting rod bearings and from the main bearing as well and this is also regular checking under each unit which i have to determine just keep the light please the light on the calling, yeah. And he assisting to me, just keep it here, like, yeah, on the wall. It will be our faces visible, yes. We need to touch by the hand and then to check the hand and now do we have metal fragments? This is also one of the most important things in crane case inspection, not only to carry out deflection and then we are done we are uh, looking for everything any abnormalities it should be reported otherwise can be a danger of the main engine propulsion which is so crucial as you know we cannot stop with main engine in the middle of the sea passage in case of some huge trouble which requires detailed explanations nails and everything others everything we are touching here and checking everywhere where is the oil and as I said, we have visual inspection of the main bearings as well as connected road bearings. We are doing uh, main engine deflection. This is the one of the way to determine our main bearings condition. And third way is to measure top clearance to see are our bearings worn out or not. This is the one way of that. in oil if we have it it is very visible it's creating the cycles but we do not have it here as per our analysis this oil is treated good it's purified good and as per our last as per our last analysis we have good condition of oil every three months as per uh, running hours we are setting an additional analysis to shore and every seven days he under supervising engineer performing a lube oil test every this morning he carry out that he can shortly say if you are willing to hear what he did with the oil analysis so what you carry out this morning uh, i think there is some words from we did and him uh, I'm trying him to confuse to evaluate is he doing uh, uh, 
uh, job correctly because uh, it's nonsense to check from zero till 10 percent it's zero till one percent and as per that we are evaluating do we have water in the oil which is very bad if we have it it will be ruined our tbn total base number and all other specifications of the oil because the purpose of the oil is to cooling and to lubricate as well and what you was checking for there is TBN, yeah, total base number. All are within the range, correct? Yeah. Okay, that's it. It's very important. We are practicing, but under our supervision. That is the normal regulation because he is agent cadet, he is he an ex engineer, and he has no now any obligation and any duty. But this is his free time, and his practice to learn how to do that more of his engineer when he will be alone. It's very important. Our cadets are very important mother in the seamen ship, especially cadets who likes to learn. Not cadets in my career, I saw a lot of cadets which don't like to learn, which just don't like to learn. They are just give up, come on board, and then only calculating, aha, today from eight till five and finish. I am done my job. And then they are staying like that, seven to eight months, six, five months, and they are coming with empty, Great, exactly like that. And then later on, somehow they are becoming engineers. And can you imagine when that engineers need to evaluate about your destiny, about the next cadets? That is also very bad and very sad. That's why the global problem is in the maritime navigation and maritime engineering, especially on the yearly basis. You can check even on the Google how many of them they are requiring engineers. Very bad because engineers you have a lot a lot of them but good engineers it's very rare to find anyhow we are a little bit extend our talking never mind we will carry out now we are going to turn engine from top dead center now this is the crank shaft we will, we will put this gauge in the position here that is the first our position it's zero first position Second position, third position, fourth position, top dead center, starboard side, exhaust side, bottom dead center, field side, and top dead center. Of course, this is the one full revolution of the crank shaft. I'm doing like that, rubbing on the crank case because during the turning it will be oily, it will be dripping the oil, and that's why I am unable to show you exactly like that. And we will carry out inspection of our internal parts. Thank you. I hope that you learned something from this video and that you will learn if you don't know anything. Everything we are doing as per maintenance manual, MAD Maker. As I said, we are on a two stroke MCC MAD engine, almost 9000 kilowatts. In this video, in the, in the description below, you will see the specifications of the main engine as well. Thank you, hope to learn something and best regards for Balkanian countries and each smart person who watching this channel, for subscribers especially. I'm sending big regards to Filipino crew and to all international crew who watching this. That's it, see you in the next vlog. Okay, cadets, please watch. Yeah, especially for cadets, bye.